Sacrificed by Jong Ho Chan, DH. Imagine all the characteristics of a tragic female protagonist, and you've got Ludis. Ludis is an abandoned princess, an illegitimate weakling daughter of an evil emperor. She even has an evil sister who makes Cinderella's stepsisters look like saints. Anyway, the story starts out with Ludis's father offering her as a sacrifice to ancient gods. Why do they need a human sacrifice? Don't ask me. Oh, they are asking me? Oh, uh, they need a human sacrifice because the empire has been taken over by demonic monsters and they need to summon the ancient gods for help. Long story short, the ritual begins and Ludis is thrown into the dungeon. And there she's faced with a giant puppy. Just kidding, it's a wolf-like monster and her survival instinct kicks in immediately and she's like, my life was crap but I still want to live. Things escalate so quickly and although we know she's not going to die in the first episode, come on, she's the protagonist, it gets very intense. So she stabs the monster with her hairpin. I mean, must have been a really long hairpin. Yeah, very prepared, very brave, written by a man, Ludus. When she wakes up, people are acting weird, as in they're nice to her. And Ludus is super confused. What's going on? And then he appears. Handsome, ancient, a god, Ravian, who for some reason doesn't look so old. Now the Emperor's so excited they got an ancient god on their side, but Ravian's like, Who the heck do you think you are? I only listen to Ludus and Ludus alone! Say what? Ludus is left speechless, as much as everyone else. And Ravian's like, You don't remember me, but that's okay. I only exist to make your wishes come true. Holy crap! Ludus has got a genie! Now, Ludus doesn't know what to wish for, because she's never been allowed to want anything. Aw, oh, poor Ludus. And this Ravian guy just keeps saying stuff like, it's okay, I waited 5,000 years to make you happy, I can wait a little longer. What is going on? What does he even mean? How will Ludus overcome her past to save the Empire from demon spawn? Can humans ever have romantic relationships with ancient gods? And most importantly, can I borrow the hairpin and get myself an ancient god genie? If you, like me, need answers to these questions and many more, check out Sacrifice, only on Pocket Comics. I'm going to give you five seconds now to click on the link below before I start with spoilers, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. So Ludis marries a prince named Ollie and they live happily ever. Just kidding. That's a terrible story. I do not write these. Thank <laughs> you.